And we're back here live getting ready for tonight's debate. You know, just about every politician has had experience with debating along their path to elected office, but few have had as much experience as Ohio Senator Rob Portman. And News 5's John Kosick tells us he isn't just a debate veteran, but he's also a coach and, shall we say, sparring partner. You will never find Ohio Senator Rob Portman on stage at a comedy club doing impersonations, but that's not to say he hasn't done his share of them. In fact, he's played the parts of Al Gore, John Kerry, Hillary Clinton, Barack Obama, and John Edwards, to name a few. I have played the role of uh, the opponent in the presidential debates, I don't know, for four or five times now. Women it is a job that takes a great deal of study, not only knowing what the opposing candidate is likely to bring up, but also how they are likely to act once they are on that stage. Like the last time, Cleveland played host to a vice presidential debate in 2004. It was Dick Cheney, John Edwards. I, I played the role of John Edwards in the debate preparation, and I repeated the words Halliburton about 300 times. Halliburton, when he was CEO of Halliburton. While he was CEO of Halliburton, I mentioned Halliburton a few minutes ago. Here's why we didn't think Halliburton should have a, a no-bid contract. Which is basically what happened in the debate. One of Portman's biggest pickups, though, was something he noticed in getting ready for the 2000 the presidential the debate. This was back uh, with George W. Bush when he was still governor of Texas. He was running for president, and he asked me to play the role of, of, of Al Gore in one of the debate preps. I came up to him in a rather aggressive way, and he said he'll never do that. And sure enough, he did it. It's not only what's your philosophy and what's your position on issues, but can you get things done? And I believe I can. So President Bush was, was ready for it, and it was probably a moment that helped him. With his own race to run and his own debate to prepare for, Portman sat out 2016. But what about 2020? Were there any calls from the Trump campaign? No, I, I haven't been asked this this year, and I, probably best that I hang up the spikes, you know. In Cleveland, John Kasich, News 5.